Hi everyone, so now I'm going to do a, you already saw the day look which is over here, and now I'm going to change it into a nighttime look with this Too Faced Rock and Roll palette. And here are the colors. And on the actual blog post you'll be able to see step by step and all the products that I use as well as links on where to get everything. So I already changed my lip. I did a CoverGirl lipstick in Spellbound. And then I did a little bit of this red velvet lipstick from Revlon. And then I did kind of an ombre effect with this Lancome uh, lip liner in Mauvel. So to start off, I dusted a lot of powder underneath here. Kind of kept it loose. I didn't pack it in so then we can just sweep away anything that falls out. Because these eyeshadows, they do tend to fall a little bit. But it's worth it because of the look that you can get. Because this looks pretty cool. Ready to go out for the night. So I'm going to start with my eyeliner and kind of do a medium thickness line above the lash line since we already got underneath. So now we're just intensifying it. I'm going to take a little bit under here. Not totally on the waterline, not making it too harsh. Keeping it mostly where your lashes are. Next, we're going to just go straight into the color. I'm going to take a bigger, fluffier brush and take Heavy Metal, which is a navy blue. And just gently blend it on there. You can just pack it and then blend blending up a little bit into that crease area and down you want to make sure you have that blending brush to blend out any harsh edges looking great I'm going to take just a little bit more of that blue try to intensify it just ever so slightly Next, I'm going to take a blending brush and then I'm going to dip it into pop. And then bring that right in that crease and blend it up on that brow bone. Take a little more. And then I'm going to take my clean blending brush and help blend that out just a little bit. See normally when I'm doing my makeup I do one step, one step, one step, one step, but so that's why sometimes I'll go back and kind of fix it so that they look the same. Next I'm going to take the more pressed compact brush and go into punk. So punk is this gorgeous green which is going to be big this fall and I'm pressing it into this inner corner area and then blending it towards the outer area outer corner I'm gonna just flip that brush over and go back into heavy metal and then outer corner in so then they can kind of combine together into a cool color go back blending brush Take some more of pop, bring it back in, kind of bring it down to this corner, do that check mark V shape, blend it, blend, blend, blend. Now I'm going to take a kind of flat brush, which that's what I like to use when I do anything underneath the bottom lash line, and I'm going to bring it out and kind of bring it halfway and just taper it ever so slightly in and you know I normally don't do this but I think it looks it works really well with this look so that was that soft brown that I used in the day look now I'm gonna take some of new romantic and bring that underneath my brow and blend it down it's this soft champagne gold color. Give you that little bit of shimmer. So see how we do have some fallout here. 
I'm going to get a little bit more loose powder and just brush away any excess. I'm going to take my concealer brush, help smooth it away a little bit before I add a little bit more concealer. Try not to erase that line, but just make sure it's nice and clean. Kind of clean up anything else. Touch more powder just to set it, because hey, you're going out. It's going to be darker, so it's okay to just do a little bit more just to make sure it stays flawless. So for this look, what I did was I added more bronzer to really kind of intensify it a little bit and then I did this this fun lip that I have on right now. You can add some blush if you like to. I'm going to stay away from it just because I have this more intense and my eyes. I'm going to add just a little bit more eyeliner to this outer corner and you can even go in and do a nice liquid line. I'm not going to. I always do that. So I'm going to try to just keep it nice and smoky and switch it up for you guys. And then, finishing touch, the Dior Show Blackout Mascara just to make those lashes amped up some more. Just load it on. It's a creamy mascara, so it's not really going to, it's not going to clump on you very easily unless it's old or dry and then maybe you have to worry about that. If you have a problem with mascara transferring just on the tips or like a very light coat do a little bit of waterproof just there and maybe underneath because sometimes since this is such a deep mascara and since it is a creamier formula it can transfer a little bit so if you, pro if you have a problem with that, you know, maybe either, you know, use waterproof or use something else. I don't want you guys to run into problems. Alright, so this is my rock star night look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And have a great night, especially if you're going out tonight. I know it's Thursday, but hey, who cares? Alright, enjoy and be beautiful.